Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm driving this. This is the Mercedes E53 AMG. Unlock the car, lock the car, Mercedes logo there. And this is to open the boot of the vehicle. Straight away, we are going to be opening the engine bay, which is a little different because AMG is written on the side like that. Of course, there is insulation right there. And let's just shut this. Now, you can notice that there are changes. It actually looks more like the A class than the C or the S class actually. This is the facelifted model and E53 was not sold in India earlier. Now it is available. Says AMG here, Pan Americana grill. There's a front camera and Mercedes logo. Another Mercedes logo. Count the logos. There's a towing hook, front parking sensors. And these lights are not multi-beam lights which are available in the E63. In fact, it says Mercedes Benz right there. And you can see the bumper is actually very sporty. Okay, I think there is an inlet here. I'm not too sure about it, but behind the wheels, I think, yeah, maybe probably it pulls in air from there. It's very chintu mintu. You can't really see it. The wheels are very different in terms of design because these are 19 inches. These are actually the base wheels, but I like the design. The tire size at the front happens to be different from the rear because you get 245, 40, 19s here. And it says turbo formatic plus at night when you open the mirrors, there's a light projection which happens from here and there's a camera right there, but this car shockingly does not get any keyless entry on any of the doors so you have to use the key to unlock the vehicle it is long it looks really nice in this white shade however this is not as long as a regular e-class because it is based on the short wheel based version of the mercedes e-class now this tire size happens to be 275 35 19 you can see the size of the wheels and it says amg here meanwhile it gets this black finish on the roof let's quietly open this how can I quietly open it? Anyways, let's open the boot of the vehicle. And it kind of feels powered, but it's not powered, of course. And the boot is kind of useless with the spare wheel placed right on top. The tire size happens to be smaller. It's a spare wheel without an alloy. Of course, 135, 70, 19 is the size of the wheel. But they've placed it on top of the boot, which is a bit of an issue. Although there's storage space below as well. Oh my God, this is so cumbersome. And there is this, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> in case you want to wear probably skates and then <laughs> run behind the car or something of that sort let's quickly shut this and you get a camera which is hidden which actually comes out from there you get six parking sensors at the rear and Faisal Khan's fingers of truth are very scared of these exhausts because there are four of them and they are real AF check the exhaust out okay the previous different model did not have the real ones actually these are outlets the real ones are actually behind there's a diffuser treatment here and the underbody is kind of flat this is the rear fog light and there's this chrome which is below this nice subtle lip spoiler as well now the rear space is not that great when you compare to the regular e-class because of the long wheelbase this is based on the short wheelbase version of the e-class however space is actually decent and there's good amount of room and space and there are dual sunroofs as well only one opens the front one of course Burmester sound system with 13 speakers nice beautiful red stitching you get this too a sun blind at the rear in fact there's a sun blind here as well and the seat's actually nice and comfortable. There's an AC vent. Actually, AC controls are there at the rear, along with two AC vents. Let's quickly step inside. Yeah, let me turn this AC on. That's nice. Decent amount of legroom and knee room. Under thigh support is also okay, okay, not the best. And headroom is also decent. Hook, light. How do you turn it on? <laughs> like that. And there's a handle as well. And the seat belts get the height adjust function too. AC vents on the side too. And nice chrome line, beautiful quality. The interior also looks amazing. You can see between, I mean, the dashboard, you get this aluminum finish, which is also quite premium. And of course, you get a center armrest with twin cup holders and some storage space here as well. And thankfully, every passenger has a head because everything is adjustable and the quality of the seats are absolutely fantastic. Very easy to move this as well. Let's get to the front. Okay, you see the features are very similar to what we get on the regular e-glass probably some sportier bits here but you can't really make this out to be an amg unless or until you really look at it in fact this also does not glow at night and uh, you got a proper dead pedal usual mercedes controls you can see the ambient lighting yeah and seats are really nice in fact it says amg right here as well now you know the usual controls but it gets a heating function for the front seats no ventilation function you can say up to three people settings if you so wish the steering wheel comes from the Mercedes S-Class almost because the S-Class doesn't have AMG written here. This one, of course, has AMG written right there. And the instrument cluster has this AMG mode. You can see it's a beautiful looking unit. It's absolutely phenomenal. In fact, you know, when you lift off the throttle and all, it tells you power, charge and stuff like that. Really very nice. You can browse through everything from here. Yeah, everything possible. You can browse through here. 
whatever you can do here you can do here also that's so cool right but you know what these unnecessary overdone buttons are a little difficult to remember this is for cruise control this is for audio system this is to get into that screen this is to get into this screen and of course you know horn is nice beautiful switch in very nice quality says mercedes right there usually it was the carlben signature red stitching on the dashboard looks very nice indeed and you get red seat belts in the car of course this is kind of frameless which is nice you get a sunglass holder let's open the sunroof and the, just the front one opens the rear one does not open it's kind of slow but then it gets the job done because it brings in a lot of airy feeling inside the cabin because the cabin doesn't have any bay just such and then that's about it it's not going to open any further and no, i'm not going to take that risk but i know it has got pinch guard for sure Storage space here, storage space here, wireless charging pad, USB, blah blah blah. I mean the usual bits and the usual Mercedes system. I mean, why should we even talk about it? Traction control. This is for the air suspension. No, not this is for. I don't know. <laughs> it's not for the air suspension. It's probably for the dynamic dampers. This is for the manual mode for the gearbox, and this is for the drive selector, volume, turn of the. I mean, this is for the camera. Let's get into the camera. Okay, active park assist is not working at the moment, but it's got active park assist and it's got a 360 degree camera, which gives you so many views. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, of course, the E63 has even more stuff. Specifically speaking, it has a heads-up display. It's not there in this car. Let's get out of this menu. Okay, it's easy to operate. It's got voice commands. It's, it's like very slick, like very fast, and the usual Mercedes bit. Like when you get into comfort, obviously you've got seat kinetics and you've got ambient lighting, which has got you guessed it right. I'm going to shout. So remove the headphones from your ears. 64 colors, and you can get into multicolor as well. And yeah, that's. I mean, why do we even talk about this all the time? Not taken for granted. This track pace, which is new here, where you can actually time yourself from zero to hundred, drag race, and all that stuff. That's cool. And AMG performance, which you'll use this actually when we're driving the car. We're also going to use uh, different consoles or different modes of the instrument cluster when we're driving the car. Mercedes, me settings actually has something weird. Okay, you can actually yeah use the touch screen to recline the sun blind. I mean, they could just have had a button, and this is to raise the ride height of the car because it's got air suspension, but it raises so gently that now you can't really realize it on camera. Let me turn off the air conditioning. Air conditioning is a chiller. This nice new treatment is beautiful. tries to make it more sporty but you know what this is more of a mercedes car than an amg car which is very apparent okay the wipers work really well see the amount of spray on offer that's good enough as such and yeah everything else remains more or less the same i love the way the this thing has been done what is this yeah <laughs> this is the paddles of course and you know what they also have a dynamic package which gives you those controls on the steering wheel to tweak and then it has got drift mode and launch control this car does not have any of that because that's optional bit of course that's it yeah nothing different beautiful stitching beautiful quality really nice interior and stays true to the mercedes benz philosophy of course and when you turn off the car which i'm going to do right now it shows you the mercedes logo in the center there it is the mercedes logo and then when you close the door it shows you the e class there which comes in so nice graphics like 12.3 inch 12.3 inch absolutely phenomenal like i have nothing to complain about that's so brilliant in fact let's get into reverse because i want to show you something really cool okay this is the reverse parking camera you see the 360 degree view when i turn the camera I mean the steering wheel the camera also turns obviously that's something to do with software the camera is not working I mean the camera is not turning it cannot turn but it is so freaking cool Mercedes level of attention to detail is absolutely mind boggling absolutely phenomenal the way they do things really amazing trust me on this navigation is also very nicely done obviously it's got connected car tech and what not I mean all the usual bits you've seen in the new E class in fact when you get into reverse check that out okay look at the attention to detail the mirror will automatically go downwards and move itself so that you can see if you are going to hit a curb or something of that sort let's play a radio right away <laughs> Saying the same thing thousand times is not going to convince the DJ wale babu to play your song but still anyways the song sucks Jokes aside, let's turn off the car. Audio quality is absolutely phenomenal. Something you would expect from Mercedes-Benz car for sure. Really nice attention to detail, excellent luxury and comfort as well. And let's just shut the car, lock it, and let's try to open the car and see if all the windows come down. And they are certainly going to come down any moment. Come on, don't disappoint me in front of camera. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is not happening. I'm so sorry, guys, to disappoint you today. Let's lock it again. I think we have to give it a pause of maybe a couple of seconds, and then the car realizes, hmm, maybe somebody might open the windows today. So here yeah, we keep it pressed, and there all the windows come down. The sunroof also opens, which is kind of cool as well. Uh, yeah, most cars are now tilting the sunroof instead of opening them. Nice feature for sure. I really like it. You can see the ground glance is so chintu mintu. Now it's going to be really very difficult to drive this car over big speed breakers, but somehow it manages to clear without any problem whatsoever. By the way, I didn't speak about the rear tail lights. Tail, tail lights are the rear only passenger. Lights are really nice at night, but you know what? It just lights up. Okay, it doesn't do that drama which you've seen in the older X S63 or even the new GLS and all that. Come on, we need that. Let's go. 
But before we get going, let me show you a couple of few important, interesting things. Firstly, this actually reclines, but this seat doesn't seem to recline. So only the middle one reclines. That's kind of weird. Obviously, it's got Isofix child seat mounts, a dozen of airbags, and you can just push it like this. That's so easy to do. Okay, and press this. Look at it, how it opens on its own. So it's kind of self-retracting once you press it. And there's a puddle lamp, which is right there which is actually helpful at night and there is no issue of under thigh support because i can use these controls to increase the under thigh support look at that okay that means tall passengers will never have an issue of under thigh support which is also fantastic and you can see how they have actually lined everything so beautifully well yeah amazing car like really stellar indeed let's start driving right away All right, we're all set to go, which means first things first, I'm going to adjust the steering wheel. It has got electric adjust for the steering wheel, both for reach as well as rake. Of course, a car of this character and caliber and the price deserves to have all this and more. And this camera is so amazing now because it shows you those guidelines, the parking sensor similar to BMW cars. All right, let's turn off the air conditioning. Everything else is turned off. I mean, seat heating nobody uses any which ways. I have to get here to lower the car. So I get into settings, I press this button and the car is getting lowered right now. I come out of this and then I get into AMG performance, but I'll do one thing. I just get into sport mode first and then I will say, hey Mercedes. How can I help? Engine data. There we have got the engine data as well. Traction control. First we get into sport. We keep this button pressed. It's going to turn off completely. So now we are having the traction control off, which is a brave move to be honest. We get into drive mode. I have my chosen style of display as well except that traction control is off left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator hazard light off revving the motor and off we go well you saw that there was no loss of traction even with traction control off because this car obviously has amazing amount of grip by tires and of course it puts all that power down beautifully well performance is really very strong for what is actually a three liter inline six cylinder petrol engine which is obviously turbocharged but with single turbo it is also supercharged intercooled of course it's dohc has 24 valves and gets eq boost as well so output from the engine alone happens to be 435 yeah 435 horsepower at 6100 rpm and the torque output happens to be 520 newton meters which comes in at 1800 rpm and stays there at 5800 rpm resulting in a massively massively massive wide torque band but that's not all it's got eq boost as well which is a 48 volt starter alternator which gives it an additional 22 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque for a moment the overall power is actually close to 457 meanwhile the overall torque output is close to 770 newton meters absolutely bonkers numbers right obviously the e60 they produces 850 newton meters just from the engine alone but again numbers here are absolutely baffling crazy amount of performance as such and the result is it absolutely takes off first and foremost power delivery is quite linear but then in the mid range is absolutely fanatic and then the top end is also screamer it has a very good low end punch because drivability is absolutely phenomenal and that 48 volt starter generator the eq boost works very well at lower speeds to eliminate all sorts of turbo lag resulting in absolute spritey performance you get onto the throttle and it's very very immediate to respond the result is 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 4.5 seconds 0 to 160 kilometers per hour in under 10 seconds but hey that's not the point the point is just look at it go okay it's idling at 650 rpm you can't hear anything it's so refined left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator rev still 2600 rpm i don't know what is the thing but these mercedes cars have a a habit of galloping ahead near the red line or at the red line it just tries to jump ahead it's that ferocious performance bonkers to say the least you can see the way oh my god when you lift the throttle it has these pops and crackles happening which is absolutely phenomenal this engine is so good i can't believe i'm calling a six cylinder engine so good because for me a v8 is a v8 is a v8 but this six cylinder really surprises you eq boost is like a wonder here because it really eliminates all sorts of lag and really assists in giving you more punch when you need it i love the way this car revs it's so fast to rev and then i think it redlines around 7000 rpm we will check the red line by getting into manual mode in a bit and you've got steering mounted paddles as well with which you can obviously make shifts but this is a nine speed torque converter gearbox 
which is very fast with shifts it gets the right gear almost all the time making you never miss her dual clutch unit yeah this is a torque converter and it's very smooth it actually puts you in a higher gear in comfort mode to conserve fuel that's how smart it is phenomenal engine phenomenal performance i mean it will return a fuel efficiency between 5 to 8 kilometers per liter depending on your driving style and then there are five drive modes on offer there's something on a slippery for obviously slippery conditions if you want to drive in snow there is a comfort mode which really makes the whole car comfortable because there's air suspension on offer along with adaptive damper so you don't feel anything as such in spite of the fact that this has really very 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 low profile tires and then there's sport and sport plus and there's an individual mode so you can alter a lot of things in fact there's so many things which can be altered i honestly do not have the mental capacity only to remember what all can be altered so i'm just going to cheat here right now i'm just going to get into individual mode there you can see it i'm just going to press this sort of a gear icon here drive can be altered between reduced moderate sport and dynamic that's four settings for the same transmission manual or you know regular drive Okay, I just kind of messed that up. So we're going to get into individual again, and then I'm just going to get into the screen again, and then I'm just going to come back again. And in dynamics, this basic, advanced, and pro. Okay, like we have three settings for the traction control too, and for suspension also, there are three settings: comfort, sport, and sport plus. And obviously, everything is in sport all the time. Now, manual mode has been triggered because I've come come into individual where I have actually programmed the gearbox to be in manual. Six thousand seven hundred RPM. That's where the red line lies. But now I'm coming <laughs> to a place where I really need to get into the settings and raise the ride height of this car because the ride height drops as soon as you hit hundred kilometers per hour. Yeah, because it has got air suspension. The ride height will drop by hundred. I don't know how many mm or what. but it drops so that you can clear speed breakers without any issue i'm very anxious and i'm like my fingers are crossed when i'm coming to a big speed breaker but trust me this car in spite of being a short wheel base has a long wheel base and then i mean short wheel base version of the e class still has a long wheel base but it manages to clear speed breakers without any issue you have to be slow you have to maybe angle it sometimes and uh, yeah okay there should be blind spot monitor by the way that's available abroad but probably uh, as an option not as standard equipment a lot of stuff is actually optional like keyless entry and <laughs> i don't want to get into that at at the moment but yeah for the price of this car you would expect a lot of kit but that's not the case here yeah i love the way it manages to have that cracks and pops when you lift off the throttle that is so freaking satisfying and then you want to make a overtake it does it so quickly it dispatches traffic in no time at all that is the level of grunt and performance now i think lowering as soon as you hit 100 km per hour like okay fine now i'm going down no 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 i'm not i'm not going to stay up i'm going to go down that is just for better aerodynamics and brakes also very strong now uh, i i'm just going to get out of this menu and we're just going to browse through this because, okay there is track performance track pace actually so we are going to be using that to see how much time does it take to go from 0 to 100 km per hour which means that i actually need to get into sport plus mode because i honestly cannot time the shifts in this car it drives so fast this engine is so good i never expected a 6 cylinder engine to be that good and also sound so good it's it's an amg at the end of the day but it is not an amg made engine it's an amg tuned engine Yeah, it's an AMG tuned engine. So, yeah, actually, they call it AMG enhanced. That is the very right word. Let's come to a halt right now. Brakes are so sure-footed, and the gearbox is so aggressive in sport mode. Now we are going to get into maybe drag race, and let's see. Pull away or select manual start. Just going to get into the sport display instead. The yellow ones, which look really very nice as well. And ESP Sport left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator, revving the motor. Revs till 2000 something, and off we go. We did it in 4.75 seconds, which is not bad at all, considering the claim time happens to be 4.5 seconds, making it quite quick as such. And then we're just going to get into the sport displays right away. Where is it? I, it, it keeps vanishing. Okay, I, I just need to talk to the car probably and ask it. But then there's AMG performance here, and then we're going to get into engine data, which shows exact power and torque being consumed in real time as well. What a car! What fun! I, I honestly, if you blindfold me and put me in this car, I would be like. Are you for real? This car cannot be this huge. It's humongous. The size is absolutely baffling, but it doesn't feel its weight at all. It weighs 1900 kgs because obviously it has. I mean, it's an E-class at the end of the day, so it's humongous in terms of size. And then obviously it's got four matic plus as well. Four-wheel drive system adds to the weight of the car. The result is a heavy car, 1900 freaking kgs. Yet you don't feel that weight at all. I don't feel it is 1900 kgs. It is so light, nimble, agile on its feet somehow. 
but then obviously when you try to corner really hard then you can feel the size of this Mercedes E-Class the E53 AMG so we are just going to change the instrument cluster once again and I'm just going to get into the classic one I really love the classic one to be very honest and we are going to get into vehicle here data instead of engine data and obviously we are in sport mode left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator turning off the hazard light and off we go crazy this four wheel drive system is so good now it's more rear biased of course it's able to put all that power down beautifully well without any hassle whatsoever in fact mercedes has done an absolute what was that i i just said mercedes and she reacted there no 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 i'm not talking to you thank you so much i, I don't know she's navigating me to some place right now but yeah it, it, it's able to get the voice command so nicely and so fast that's crazy so here we go now around the corners i have to tell you that body roll is very well contained and the steering is super duper awesome it's such a fantastic steering firstly it's light at low speeds weighs up brilliantly well at high speeds has good amount of feel has great amount of feedback and the precision is unbelievable okay because of the weight and the size there's some amount of roll but for the most part it is just stellar in the way it goes and the ride is also phenomenal for a car which is running on such low profile tires but you know when you get in comfort mode the dampers obviously adjust and so does the air suspension and then gives you a nice comfortable ride so you can really relax in this car in fact it has a split personality you don't realize in comfort mode anything so here we're going to get into comfort mode right now and then okay now the engine has actually <laughs> come down it's going to get into a higher gear we should just change this to see which gear is it in and you know what it is so relaxed you can't hear anything that's so smooth the way this engine performs it's in third gear right now at like 30 kilometers per hour under 30 kilometers per hour it will shift to a higher gear very very fast so you never ever feel that you're driving an amg and then that's the mercedes character which comes into play but then once you get into sport mode it's a different character altogether it lowers down it uh, becomes very aggressive with the gearbox with the engine with the sound with everything in fact it sounds really very nice only thing is that the cabin is so well insulated you can't really hear as much as you would hope you could have inside the cabin yeah that's a bit of a bummer i would say i love the way it is so engaging to drive this car in spite of the fact it offers you all the luxury in the world now the price of this car is rupees 1.24 crores on road mumbai you want the e63 it will go from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour 1.1 seconds fast it has 612 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque in fact it has a top speed of 300 kilometers per hour with the amg drivers package which i think is standard on it this one has a top speed of 250 kilometers per hour but with the amg drivers package it will take you to 270 kilometers per hour which uh, is actually fast enough <laughs> now we are coming to a corner and i'm so excited because i know this car really corners flat very sure footed very i mean you can keep high speed through this corner or any corner for that matter and this car is not going to disappoint in fact 20 inch rims are optional which actually spoil the ride quality but they look i mean very nice indeed not giving me any downshift you know <laughs> left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator revving the motor some amount of wheel spin on offer you know why because power delivery is obviously more rear biased now it has a 66 60, sorry 66 liter fuel tank but a reserve of 7 liters meanwhile the E63 also has a 66 liter fuel tank but a reserve of 10 liters because obviously it drinks more fuel so mercedes is like you need to be alerted much before so that you search for a fuel station we are just going to get into comfort mode i am also going to uh, just turn off the esp sport mode so that we can probably check out active brake assist yeah we should no i don't know <laughs> anyways at times now it says active brake assist is not working so you have to be a little careful about that because it's not showing me the sign that it is now so what you're going to do we're just going to get out of this menu and then i'm going to get into settings and then in settings there's assistance and this i am actually going to turn on to early it detected it it works flawlessly the system so it's got forward collision warning and automatic emergency braking active brake assist is basically forward collision warning and then it will apply brakes on its own when it detects that you are actually sleeping right now and has a slew of safety systems including a knee airbag and of course uh, 
pretty safe and what not which is something which you get in all mercedes cars as well 80 lakhs lesser for this e53 car over the e63 of course but you know what while the e63 is an absolute mad machine really fast and really a flyer this car excels in the fact that it has a dual personality amg ride control alters the suspension so well that comfort is comfort and sport is sport period and the overall result is that you can actually drive this every day to work without scaring anybody silly including yourself and then on the weekend you can go like this and right now i'm in comfort mode can you believe that let me get into sport mode and that really amplifies the performance of this machine is ballistic to say the least so guys this is my vlog of the mercedes e53 amg i think it's a phenomenal blend of performance comfort luxury and driving fun at, at the end of the day obviously it has amg name to it you know now the e53 replaced the e43 uh, it got the addition of an eq boost which was not there in the e43 but then i think we should launch one last time before we end this vlog so here we are stopping left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator revving the motor i love the way the instrument cluster showing me charge and power that's so well done bye bye